Serbia's representative Nina and her song Charoban. The singer was inspired by the music of the 1960s. Stena Mangi for Norway with Haba Haba. And for Armenia, Emmy with Boom Boom. It's the dress rehearsal and things are heating up for the contestants. The show's supposed to run as it will during the first live show on Tuesday. It's a technical challenge. 25 cameras, 2,200 floodlights, and a 60-meter-long LED wall for the stage. In the space of five weeks, the arena has been transformed into an enormous TV studio. Technical director Dieter Thiessen is responsible for the organization. Behind the scenes, he'll make sure everything goes according to plan. More than 300 employees will help him pull off the feat. I call this the Olympic Games of Entertainment. It's unbelievable the material you need, the logistics behind the thing, how many craftsmen are needed. We've been working round the clock 24-7. That's a lot of work. My colleagues have done a huge amount in the past five weeks. The Light Athletics Hall next door has been turned into a press center. 2,500 journalists from around the world will report on the contest from here. In 2009, the contest was won by Alexander Rubak. He's back this year, but not to sing. I'm a reporter for the State Channel, actually, in Norway. And uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit tourist as well. The press center has been firing on all cylinders for days. For the reporters, the event is more about hard work than hanging out. But that certainly doesn't mean they're immune to the excitement. <laughs> the reporters are officially neutral, but still some are rooting for their own countries. This year we hope for Stella Mangi, which is our girl, Haba Haba. Uh, but if Lena makes it number two and Stella wins, that would be the best. 500 volunteers make sure that the participants, reporters and presenters are all well looked after. Now then, here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. I came here from Cologne as soon as I'd finished work, and maybe it's just me because I'm a Eurovision fan, but I do feel that there's a special atmosphere in and around the venue. You get a definite sense something's going on. It's not spiritual, but I sensed an energy. When you enter the arena, it feels good. On the big night, Anke Engelke will be one of the three hosts. Her rehearsal tonight lasts just 10 minutes, but behind the scenes, everybody is busy. Nobody can afford to make mistakes on Saturday night. Magdalena Tull is representing Poland. The TV viewers will decide if she's one of the 10 candidates who make it through the final. Aurela Gatcha for Albania is also in the running. <laughs> 